Hey guys, for the last 16 months, we've kept a secret from you. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure. Welcome to the next video and welcome to a very special video. Today, we may or may not be trading our truck in. For the last three years, we have traveled this country with our 2020 Ram 3500 yes. and it has towed the mow beautifully. Yes. It's more than enough truck. We love it. We absolutely love it, but it's getting up there in mileage and we want to get the most value out of it. It, um, is, it is at 90,000 miles. Yep. Which is not a lot Nothing for, for, a, a, for Cummins. a Cummins diesel, but for trade-in value, it is a lot. All right, so today's video, you're going to come with us to the dealership. We're going to see what we can record, kind of get into. In a following video, we're going to give you like a full tour of the new truck. Yes. But today's video is all about the buying process. So And, and the trading in process. And trading in. Because I, we love our truck. Yeah, we absolutely do. And I've spent the last three days. <laughs> Detailing. Detailing that thing. So if the deal doesn't work out today, we have a very clean, clean 2020 Ram 3500. <laughs> so we actually purchased our truck in August of 2019. Yep. Um, if you haven't seen the truck video of that, we'll try to link it in the description um, so that you can go back and see like the full detail of what truck we had for the last three years. We actually got it. We actually have had it longer than that, but we've traveled full time in it for three years. Yep. Um, but yeah, I love, I love my truck. I am hoping that the new truck will be just as wonderful to us as this one has been. Especially since we're going west this year. Yes. So follow up videos of all the things because with the new truck, we have to get new hitches and new things and yep. go back to Bob Moses to get it re-ceramic coated or not re-ceramic coated. Lots get of it. truck content. Get it ceramic coated. Lots of truck content coming your way. If y'all know us, you know we love our ceramic coating and how easy it is to clean and maintain and how well it keeps the, the paint looking brand new. Yep. Um, so that will definitely be an add on to whatever truck we get. You ready? I'm ready. All right. I'm a little nervous. Let's roll. Got an hour and a half drive. You so nervous? let's go. Tell oh. them if you're nervous. I'm a little nervous. My arm's getting tired holding this camera too. <laughs> so we gotta get going. What is up? What's up? What's up? All right, we are on our way to. We can't say that yet. We still got an hour to go though. Okay. We're just taking our time. Evidently, we're driving through the countryside because uh, one of the interstates was blocked for a lot of traffic, and maps taking us a different way. We're going back roads. So we're going back roads for the first back 30 roads miles. Back instead of um, highways. Well, we'll have, we'll have a nice there's ride. Some cow pastures and everything around here. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the ride. What do you, what, uh, what truck do you guys think we got? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think we went with Ram again? Did we go with the new GMC Denali Ultimate with the massage seats? That's a nice truck. It's a pretty truck. Or did we go with a Ford F450 That's with the nice massage truck. seats? That's a nice truck too. I wish Ram would do massage seats. That's true. Come I'm... on, Ram, get on that. If you, if somebody from Ram happens to watch our videos, get on that. We want massage paint seats. Yes. Um, only because we we spend literally like 12 to 13 hours in our truck on travel days. Ugh. Um, not on purpose. Sometimes it just happens. We right. have to do it. So like we just we just did a quick trip to Virginia because of a family emergency, and we were literally in the truck for 12 hours. And thank you for all of you who were praying for us and thoughts and prayers went out to the family. We really appreciate it. We love the community, and we love that we know we have you guys supporting us. Yeah, we have prayer warriors, and you know, there's always power in prayer. And because of that, the family emergency was um, a lot easier and the healing process was a lot quicker and all the things um, so we are definitely blessed to have such a wonderful community and support system around us um, that is willing to stop what they're doing and say a prayer and lift somebody up so. also uh, <coughs> Florida in uh, February allergy season yes. if, you're, if you're visiting Florida we got the little white poofies floating around in the 
Well, so I did cottonwood, learn. I did learn cottonwood that, trees. Yes, I did learn a couple years ago that the palm trees also bloom. Yeah. And I'm allergic to evergreen trees. Um, I don't know if any of y'all know that. And so I actually get really bad allergies during the blooming of the palm trees. Um, but we found out this week that Harold is allergic to the cottonwood floating everywhere. Um, <laughs> I think part of it's mental because uh, I walked outside and saw that floating around and I was like, oh. Instantly started sneezing. Sneezing, <laughs> coughing. So, um, allergy medicine, if you're just visiting Florida, make sure you bring Claritin, Zyrtec, whatever you take for allergies. Um, make sure you bring it with you um, on your visit because it will affect you if you are a person that has bad allergies. Mm -hmm. uh, not as bad as Virginia though. Virginia yeah. is like the worst state for allergies because sure. it's got every season possible and every type of tree. Um, but anyways, so we're on our way to a dealership. We'll let you know what what it is when we get there, I guess, because you can't really hide it. I was going to say, it's going to be obvious so, as soon as we get in the parking lot. Right. So, but he's not letting me do any spoiler alerts yet, so. Nope. So, oh, yes, sir. I just want to say, I would really want one of those. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe. Yeah, the, the black Bronco sitting right, right back here. I Badlands really, edition. really want one of those, mm -hmm. but that's not what we got today. No, it's not. We picked up a 2024 Ford F450 Limited. Yes. It, it's so pretty. So, normally, you know, most people name their trucks, name their rigs. We've never done that in the past. Nope. This time? We are naming it. Yes. You want to do it? <laughs> Pegasus. Pegasus. So the horse with the wings, the dark horse. So reason why we're naming it Pegasus is um, when we originally placed this order, it yeah. started off in October of 2022. Isn't that insane? We ordered a truck in October 2022. 16 months ago. So the dealer that we placed our first order with said, you know, you're ordering a unicorn, right? These, right. These trucks never come in. Right. And I said, well, if I'm going to spend that much money on a truck, I want the truck that I want. Right. Yeah. And, you know, a unicorn, you think the, the little white horse with the rainbow horn. And <laughs> so the only name I could think of was like Skittles or something. Like you can't name an F-450 Skittles. <laughs> so... So we're doing Pegasus, Pegasus. Um, which is the black wing horse of yes. mythology, but yep. And um, we're, we're, we're so excited. We can't even like, we're super excited. Think about what we're to not, say next. We're actually not done purchasing it yet. We're still waiting on the finance. Um, the lady that's doing our finances is in another uh, meeting right, right now. So we're just waiting, yep. um, but we've gotten to check it out. We've gotten to look at it. We've gotten to touch it, all the things we set. We said we're going to hold off on driving it until after it's ours. Until we sign that last paper. Um, so we have not driven it yet, but yep. we have played in it. But for those of you who are wondering, we placed our order in Arizona so that we could mm -hmm. get it ceramic coated as soon as it got off the lot with Bob Moses. Um, that deal did not go through. Nope. Um, it never got ordered. Never. Never got a VIN number. Never like, even went into never even built. Got, Yeah, it never even got submitted as an order. Um, so he was correct. We were ordering a unicorn. It was so, never going to get delivered. So we tried number two when the order, the banks opened for the 2024s. Yep. The so 2023 was, opened originally in October 2022, which was for the new body. Yep. And then 2024, 
opened in July of 2023. Yes. So we just went ahead and placed a second order with that same dealership in Arizona. Yep. And then we're like, you know what, let's just place another order at another dealership somewhere else. So we reached out to a couple different people. Yep. One of them, uh, Chad from Changing Lanes. Yes. Uh, thank you guys so much for the recommendation of ordering through Brandon Ford. Yes. So Brandon Ford, if you don't know, is the largest dealership for the Super F Duties F Series mm -hmm. in the world. Yeah. Not just the state, not just the nation. In the world, they sell the most amount of trucks. So if you know any, anything about how this ordering process works, is the dealership only gets certain allocations. And because they have so much volume of Super Duties here, they get more allocation. Than anywhere else. So in July of 2023, Three. we placed a third order for a Ford F450 Limited. Yep, and it is finally here at and, their lot. And it is February 10th, for reference, for it's reference. February 10th <laughs> of 2024 at uh, today. Yes, so it's been a long time in, in the waiting. We've been like holding on to the secret for a long time because <laughs> nobody, like, you don't know if it's going to come in. And I'm like, I don't want people to say, so when are you getting the truck? When's right. the truck coming in? If it's never actually going to be built. And, so. and if the deal falls through or something like that, we just didn't want to get everybody's hopes up, yeah. our own hopes up even more than they already were Yes. Um, before we're actually able to see it. Yes. And so people are going to ask, why get rid of the Ram? Yep. And I love my Ram. Ram's been a great truck. I love the color. I love the body. I love the interior. I love everything about my Ram. It is getting up on mileage for trade-in value. The higher the mileage, the less you're going to get for it. Right. So we wanted to try to trade it in before it reached 100,000 miles. We're at 89,000. So we are like right at that cusp of yep. deal or no deal. And um, let's, let's, I mean, face it, we've put some miles on this thing and they have not always been easy miles. We've been across yeah. the country. We went over Monarch Pass in Colorado, like there. There have been some climbs yep. uh, with this truck and it's done wonderful. We're still getting a really great deal for the trade in value. Mm -hmm. And we just appreciate Brandon Ford, our, our salesman, Joe Nathan. If you are interested in a Ford, I, a, a Super Duty in particular, I would recommend reaching out to Brandon Ford right outside of Tampa, Florida. Ask for Joe Nathan. Ask for Joe Nathan and he's been great to work with. So yes. and tell him we sent you. Tell him that, you know, you heard it from the strangers. He's a good guy. He's yep. a good salesman. He has kept us up to date. He has texted us and let us know, you know, that the truck was here. Yep. He sent us pictures of it on the lot. He left it in a second lot just so people would stop asking about it. Yes. <laughs> he, he knew that it was ours and it was yep. we were coming for it. So he left it in a different lot just so he didn't get sales questions on it. Um, all the things. So, so if you need a good salesperson, call and ask for Joe Nathan yep. here at Brandon Ford. We actually got hats also. Yep. Um, so we'll be wearing those shortly. Um, we're waiting for the you know final paperwork before we take the tags off of them. Yeah. So the last <laughs> thing you do is just to go sign the final papers. Yep. We're, we're next in queue. Yeah. They said we have like 10 minutes. Yeah. So, uh, so we're just, we figured we'd come out here and do a little update um, yep. while we waited. Um, thank you all for following along on this journey and thank you for all the support that those of you who knew that we were getting a truck has given us. Um, you know, it's been such a long time and we're so excited mm -hmm. for the next steps. I just pray that this truck does as well as our Ram. Yep. I'm a little nervous about the exhaust brake because I know the Ram has a better exhaust brake than any other truck out there. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, but this one's going to have more pooling power. Like, you know, there's always a way and balance yep. of and like I said, the different trucks. We'll, we'll so. get into details of the the or the, the, uh, specs. the specs and the features of this truck because it's a lot. It's its own video for sure. We also have uh, some work that we've been kind of building up to this with uh, a couple of businesses yep. that are going to help us out on some adding some features to this We're truck. We're going to outfit the truck. Yeah, so just be on the lookout for some more truck content and uh, yeah, I think that's about it until we Yes. And for those of you who are with us for the travel content and the RV content, that's not going anywhere, we right. promise. But this we, is just the next chapter in our life. Yeah, we just got to show show what we're doing with the truck as well um, as everyday living. Yeah. So. All right. Let's get back inside. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at this thing. Can you see inside? Look how pretty. It's hey, so baby, pretty. how about opening the door for the first time? You see this bad boy? Look at this bad boy. <laughs> it 
is my color. Yeah. It's so pretty. Wow. It's a lot prettier than I thought it was gonna be. Guess what? Yeah, it's ours. Deed it. Well, the deal is done. Yes. So we're we're now getting ready to take it for the ride for the first time. Everything is good. It's ours. It, it's a go. Yep. Pegasus is officially part of the strange group. Oh, yes. Yep. All right. All right. Well, we got some more work to do. All right. Woo! Haven't even sat in these seats yet. We'll see. Thank you. You ready? Are you ready? Are you gonna wear your Ford hat? Uh, yeah. So come on and get it. I wanna, I wanna see, uh, see what you think of these new fancy seats. It smells so good. If there was smell o vision on YouTube, my gosh. It sure is pretty, guys. Thank you. Okay, I want you all to see this for the first time. That's right. That's right. Look at that right there. I guess we're starting a new thing. Ford Nation. Where you at? If you have a Ford, leave a comment in the in the, uh, in the comment section down below. Let me know what you're driving. All right, let's see. Uh, you get in for the first time there. First time setting down. Gotta adjust my seat though. We gotta figure out all the different things. Yep, and you got your shoulder rest. I got it out. I got my head. Your head rest. Is that good? So it feels great right here. Um, I'll I'll probably play with it a couple more times. Before. I'm sure. I'm satisfied, but oh, I feel so good. All right, well. Your turn? My turn. <laughs> Wait. Oh my goodness. You gotta adjust your shoulder piece I, too. I'm, I'm cheesing so bad right now. It's really hard to think about anything other than. Oh. I can't see it from here. You can't see that? No. All right, I'm gonna have to do that again. Just. So it's kind of like. Speed, temperature, and time are projected on the on the windshield. Oh, that's cool. I mean, we knew it had the heads-up display. Yeah. But we've never never actually driven one with heads-up display. So, how do you like it? Remember, your foot your your foot pedals can come up. Well, also, we can't go anywhere right now. Nope, we're stuck. So we can adjust your seat. You want to adjust your shoulder rest? I want to adjust my lumbar, my top lumbar. In your headrest. So this. So that's all the way back. All right. And then you just click it forward, just like you do the oh. headrest. So you, so you don't have to. And then this is supposed to come towards your head. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's <laughs> that's real nice. You look like you're too close to the steering wheel, though. Bring your pedals towards you. Like you said, it's going to take a little while to figure out. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy! The nicest vehicle I have ever been in. Seriously. You happy? Yes. Look at I, the sunroof. I am beyond. You, yeah. you figured out how to open it? Yes. I am beyond, beyond happy.